What is going on there, everybody, and welcome back to some more CO Rama. We are here in first place, and uh, 315. Yeah, I, I we got a ways to go to get to 5,000, but we don't have to worry about the competition because what are we learning that the competition is not very strong, even on normal mode? So, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. But we got three ships here, we need to buy another one. We got 24 and a half million, roughly. So we definitely have, we definitely have the finances too. And their bank rating is probably up high enough as well. We can see our reputation rating up there. Our bank rating's a little bit lower though. 13 points, I actually don't know what this goes up to. I would assume maybe 100, but I don't know. We paid our loan, it probably would have been smarter to keep these on on the thing on the payroll instead of paying them off right away like we did i don't know though it's uh something we got to figure out but anyhow do we have anything this guy's at the port of fujaria fujara anyhow anyhow she's at a port and she needs to get a load and we've only got like a few that we can handle which is wonderful the port of new york that's a nice one two and a half million it's a very long though Man, that is such a long journey. Uh, we could go down to the port of Barra. Barra. Wouldn't be too bad. Uh, yeah, let's see, though. It's not really a payday one, which is a little frustrating. We could almost go to Jeddah. And we could go up to... Tailwind, I guess, maybe 60. That's way past our, our weight. Yeah. I, I don't know. Either way, we're not really making too much progress, but we'll take it, I guess. We're not going far, so it's okay. Uh, we'll check the ship. She's waiting for commands. I command you to fuel up a little bit. All right, there we go. That'll be good. And uh, beautiful. Off we go. All right, have some fun. Yeah, we need to figure out the ship thing. That's going to be a thing. Let's take and see what we got for used ships. I don't think we got a whole lot here. Auction of seven and a half million. Yeah, we're not. We got the container. What's the uh, what's the container here one look like? 23. I mean, that's good. Look at that, 130,000 tons. We could easily take that on. There's 54 days left in that auction. The hull condition, though, is a little low at 70%, but... I, I think that would be okay, though, right? Because if we look at a Suez Max, anyhow, she's 117 million. So that's actually... Yeah, I actually would be okay with that. Uh, but yeah, man, these things are just getting so big. But yeah, a Suez Max. That would be amazing. It's not... A, it is the biggest one, ain't it? Yeah. The Suez is the biggest, so... 23, I'd be okay with that. We'll, uh, we'll give it some time, though. We'll give it some time, and we'll, we'll go back to that at some point. So, let's let the time go and see how things go. We can move that money around. That is the best, most that we can do. Got a couple of ships, though, coming in. Worth a decent amount of money, too, I think. It'd be nice if we knew what our val cargo value was. I would like to know that as we kind of come around. I also assume that we're going to have a crew fiasco at some point here. Uh, days, yeah. See, there's 22 days left in their contract. So that is a, uh, that's a problem. This ship's pretty good. It's fairly new yet. Same, and this one's kind of getting close as well. So we definitely have some problems coming aboard shortly. I'm curious to see what would happen, though, if the ship's already at sea when the crew contract comes up that's going to be interesting and why can we not upgrade our ship in the port of los angeles what like that just seems like an oversight it's a massive port all right so where can we send you to europe huh that's where you can go i guess we could take the grain i mean it's worth way more i get could we take them both no because we don't have that kind of cargo space yeah, uh, this ship is so small. She just doesn't give us much choice. But 2.8 million. I guess we'll take it. And then we'll go from there to... We're going to need fuel. Oh, boy. Could we... 
add the port of Houston in there. That ought to work. Add it, and then we'll bump this one up, and then we'll have them stop at the port. That'll be good. Uh, it should be able to get to Houston without any problems. So, should be good there. So we'll send it on its way with its grain. I am curious. It's got to go through the Panama Canal, right? Like, Okay, it is. I guess we probably could have went to even the Port of Miami. Might have been even smarter, potentially. Might have been smarter. I don't even know what I just did. Oh, there it is. It's our ship. Yep, I do remember that. It's such an ugly looking ship. I don't like this view. Ugh, oh, don't like it. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. It's cool that you can do that, but yeah, it is. It's not, not a fan. Not a fan at all. All right. What do we got here? Another ship has reached their promised land at the Jeddah Islamic port. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Where are we going to send you? Actually, this is the one we knew about this one. Can we, do we have anything? You can hold 60,000 tons, so that's like good. Could we take both of these to the same port? Like that would be... Oh, yes. I like that. See, we could take both of those to the same port. Gives us a decent amount of money there. Because that's a, like a, over a million then all, right? That's that's close. Just shy of a million. So it's really solid. And we can get some decent fuel. All right. Onwards. So that's good. We like that. 28 million we have roughly. We'll keep an eye on it. I think we're pretty good, though, to go all the way through December before we need to worry about purchasing that ship. Uh, so I kind of want to be semi careful with our finances, but at the same time, another ship in the fleet would be amazing. So what do we've got? The port of Paranagua. Okay, this is the ship in Greece, ain't it? Pretty, nope, it's not. <clears throat> I was gonna say that didn't sound right to begin with. My geography has got some it's got some work to do. Two and a half million though, if we can go all the way back to uh Australia, that wouldn't be terrible. Or we can go up to the port of Fujara for eh, a little bit less. I wouldn't say it's terrible. It's a million less. Hmm. The fuel is really cheap there. It takes less time. I would be okay with that. And we kind of max out the, the the ship anyhow, so. Fuel. And we're going to run out. But what if we fill it up 30% of the way? We would still run out. Okay. Well, fill her up then. And we're still going to run out of fuel. Not if we go 11. So, 37 days to get there. It's a little slow, but it's all right. That's all right. What else? I mean, our finances aren't. Oh, we went down, but yet we made a delivery. I'm just confused. I'm very confused. 747,000 is all we made on that trip, too. Into the port of Parisius. Parisius? Oh, whatever. What do we got? We got one. One load up to the port of Seattle. I mean, it's a good haul. That's for sure. 33,000 tons. I don't know if we can maybe get a stop in between, though. That would be... Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Could we go to, like, the Port of New York? Or not even the Port of New York. I don't even want to go there. Could we get to the Port of Sins, maybe, signs? What if we could do that? See if we can get there. Nope. Okay. Can't do that one. That's uh that sucks. Could we do Morocco? So we want the port of Tanger Med. Like would that work? Yeah, it'd be shame shame we can't get there, but yeah, if we could do it the Tanger Med, that wouldn't be it'd be okay. 
Let's, uh, let's see here. Tanger. Okay, so we can do that one. So let's stop at that port. Add. Bump it up. And there should be more than enough fuel to get us there. So I'm not worried about that. It can get from there to, to there. With the fuel it's got, yeah, it's fine. It's got plenty of fuel to get there. So. That I am not concerned about. This one here is just a money money grab. So that one's not really going to do us much. We should take a look at the uh, the fleet. Just to make sure that we don't lose out on anything. Because that wouldn't be too great. Uh, so there's the Suex. It's still at 23 Point one. It's got seven days. Let's offer. There we go. So we want to offer 23.6. That's what we're going to offer right now. And see if, uh, see how that goes. That's what we're going to offer 23.6. We don't need that bank loan. I still want to get like a tanker though. But yeah, it's coming down the line we lost oh yeah that makes sense that we lose money because we didn't actually bring any goods here uh we just used it for oh i was gonna say a cheaper fueling but obviously not all right can we go 15 maybe okay that's not too bad and then i guess we could see if we have anything and we of course we don't i mean that makes sense that we wouldn't so Onwards you go. Uh, the Arizona is in a storm. That's not great. Hopefully it doesn't get... Uh, hopefully nothing bad happens to it. All right? Like We don't want nothing bad to happen to our fleet. But I do want our reputation points to go up quicker. How is our competition? That is the... Uh, that's, that's the main thing, right? Oh man, we're still like way above them. Our company value, insane. They do have, uh, no, we've got more funds than they do too, so. Yeah, not a concern. Okay, so you're in Tanger Med, which was, oh, that's right. We were going to get fuel here. Get fuel there, and then we're going to go to the Port of Seattle. But if we can get something, there's nothing there. Okay, wonderful. Carrie, okay, right, can you make it? You can't. Could you stop at the Port of Miami, maybe? Like, that would be good, right? Let's see if we can go to the Port of Miami. That's what we should have done with the other ship, to be honest. And we can't. So, what what other port do we got down there? There's a couple down there. Tampa? I guess could we try Tampa. I don't know if it's going to let us into Tampa. I guess we could hit Savannah. If it doesn't do Tampa. Because I'm just assuming it won't do Tampa. Oh, it will. Interesting. Okay. Alright, let's hit up Tampa then. Hit the Tampas up. And we can get there. That's good. Start it. Get on your way. All right. Let's speed up the time here. Because our ships are just uh, floating around at the sea. All right. Let's check out the crew as well. Uh, okay. Oh, they got auto renewed on their contract. So that's uh, that's good. Yeah. Auto renewed on their contracts there. 296 there. 29 there. I would, oh, yeah. Because we're going to auto rehire. So, yeah. Which is good. I mean, we don't... I wonder what would happen, though, if we didn't have the auto rehire enabled. Alright, another ship in a storm. Why do you guys go, go through the storms? Go around the storm. Go around the storm. That's the goal. Let's go around them. Oh, no. Did we... Oh, we never added the stop for Tamp for, uh, that's fine. It's totally fine. I'm not worried about it. As long as the ship doesn't run out of, uh, fuel, I think we're okay. Which seems to be the case. We're not going to run out. 2.8 million. Nice. That's huge. That's huge. 4.1 million dollars. Uh, I don't know how you can say no to that. This one also 4.0. All right, what's the difference here? 4.1, that goes to Tokyo. So this one's shorter but and pays more. So I do like that. I, I mean, it doesn't pay more, but it's up there still in value. 
so off to Hong Kong we go. But we probably can't make it there in on fuel because we're going to uh, Hong Kong. I guess we could try and stop in the port of Faruja again. Or if we can get into Hafi. Hafi would work. If we could get into Hafi. Yeah, let's see if we can get into Hafi. Or is it going to be able It's going to go there all in one? Oh, wow. Okay. Never mind then. I am going to give it a little bit of fuel just to just to be on the safe side. All right. That's impressive. I'm okay with that. All right, is the did we get this ship in our fleet yet or what are we what are we doing here? Oh, there's a look at this thing. Look at this. Oh, we don't I mean, we have a bulk carrier, but we don't. Oh, okay, 11 days left in that auction. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. I can just taste it. 328. Are we not delivering goods? Why is this, uh... Why is our... Why is this not going up higher? I feel like we should be at, like, 500. We should be at 500. All right. Everything's good. They're close, close. Feels good. All right. I'm liking what I'm seeing. All right, 11 days though. Get me to the 11 days already. I'm curious how it's going to play out. But yeah, it'll be our second container ship, so that's good. 1.7 million. That's nice. That is a very nice. We like that. 2.6 to kind of up back that way. It's either one or the other. I guess we would take the more valuable cargo if that's what we were going to do. And I think looking at it, I just don't like going to Australia. So I think we're going to go back into Estonia there for 2.6 million. I think that'll be good. I think that'll be amazing. So we can do that. And then we should. How's the. Everything's looking good. The hull's good. We do need to probably do repairs on that other ship once we first get it. So that's going to be a little expensive. But I think we'll be okay. As far as fuel goes, yep, for the fuel are up. That'll be great. We can start the contract. And then, yeah, okay, so you're not going to run out of fuel. We've uh, taken care of that for you. The fuel situation is corrected. So we are solid. Yeah, we got like, what, two stars. For that which is so annoying that's not great have we i mean we've made a lot of deliveries hey we've successfully purchased the suez max container so look at that we've got it that's nice all right we need to rename it now uh let's check out our fleet we've got the arizona the arkansas the alabama uh hmm We could call this one the Alaska. There we go. Keep on our namesake there. Uh, let's go into here. This is the colors. We didn't want this. We needed a repairs. We need a repairs, yeah. So what do we want to repair things by? I mean, I think we need to get this up. To be honest, oh boy, this could cost a lot of money. Oh man. I mean, 20% gets us back up to around 80 or one and a half million gets up there. So I think we got to, it's three days. Same thing with the hall. I think we need to just get it up there. As much as it's not very, very friendly for the, for the finances. I think that's really key, so we'll just kind of let them handle what they need to. All right, the Arkansas arrived, and well, that's 1.7, so that's good. That helps us, because we just blew through finances. Well, we jumped up to 372, look at that. It's the long hauls, I'm telling you. 
Even though we don't like to take them, the long hauls give you the stars. They really do. Hmm, though it only says two points. So who knows? But where are we going to go? The port of Genoa. Uh, we don't have anything in America. It's just the lack of contracts and ports is really frustrating. It really is. Because I would expect to have a lot more options. 2.2. I like this one. This one's fine. Even though it's a little bit less money. I think it's okay. Now fuel wise we're going to. Ah. Oh, cheap fuel. Go figure. Go figure that one out. Alright. I'm not worried about running out of fuel. Maybe I should be. To be honest. Maybe I should be the Arkansas. Is it going to? Yeah, see, it'll be fine. It just doesn't update quick enough, which is annoying. It should update faster. We just kind of deal with it, right? We just do what we need to do and go from there. All right. Is our new sh newest ship going to be ready for us? That's all I care about. And she is ready. 130,000 tons we can load her up with. This is going to be awesome. It's just a matter of... I, I just wish we had more going to ports. That's that's really all I wish for. I mean, we can go to Manila. But it's from there. So what do you do? Mombasa. 61 days. I mean, we could definitely go here to here it would be close I mean it's a 9.7 million dollar contract that's, inc that's just crazy but if I take 50 and I take 73 that puts us only at 120 I can get both of these on here which is awesome so like, I want to. I want to do that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that would... Yeah, I think we do this. Piracy, yes. Acquire. We can still then acquire this one. Alright, so we got both of those. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be amazing. The biggest toll of this guy. She's coming with him some big payday for us. That's a big payday for us. And we should be able to get there. Oh, yeah. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. I feel no bad will against on this one. And we could even increase our speed. And we would be okay. Alright, yeah, that's good. Oh, let's go. As some of its crew slots empty. Oh, yes, we got to deal with the crew. We forgot about that. They, uh, they need a crew. Uh, I don't really know if it matters. I just, I don't feel like it matters. But, uh... I meant to put the captain on a year. I didn't mean to select, uh, six months. Again, they're all at 7,100. So we'll take the person with the most experience. Alright, 91, 9... I, I, the engineer... I mean, the engineer is very important, right? Like, we can't have... A malfunction as we're going about our business all right so we got to take care of that the electro same thing we need someone that can handle communications and everything else oh we should do like an all-female crew once too that wouldn't be too bad one year experience you all have one year of experience and this guy wants eighteen hundred dollars unreal all right there's the crew We've got the crew. Captain, do you want to install security? No. 390,000. Ah. Hmm. I mean, it is a very valuable load, right? Like, we're talking $12 million. $13 million. So it is really, really expensive of a load for something to go wrong. Hmm. 
We are going to two ports with piracy, so I guess why not? Why not? We'll confirm that. We don't want to auto refill. All right, I think we just did two loads of it, but that's all right. That's good stuff. That'll be huge. Once that ship arrives, we can definitely get things taken care of. Look at that. We now have four ships in the fleet moving about. So the long like journeys don't really affect us as much because we should still have money coming in throughout the time, throughout all that month. It's a long journey, buddy. That's a long journey. That'll be good, though. I want to see that money just bam. Literally in half a year, we'll have paid for that ship, hopefully, which is cool. But it's super cool. Boom. Boom. I like having that, but I just don't know if I like having it. Like, I like that I can see all my stuff, all my ships. But if you have, like, a ton of them, this could get really messy. Alright, what do we got? Nothing. Nothing. Everything's fine. We're losing a lot of money, though. 3.2 million. And that ship's going to need more hull work as well. It's got a lot of it's got a ways to go. It, it needs some work, but we're we're taking some baby steps. We're probably gonna give the crew like the most luxurious stuff on this one, because I want that guy to be like the big mega haul journey one. If it's bringing in that kind of money, you get the goods. You get the goods. Oh, four million. Oh yeah, look at that. Three point seven million for the Alabama. So that's good. All right, let's go there. So it's another. It's a decent sized ship. For sure. It's the miles that really give us the money on this one, though. It's really those miles. It's like airline miles. All right. Three. Oof. I'd rather take this one. Some machinery. All right. So that's good there. Go to the contract. Give her some fuel. 360. Nice. All right, that looks good. Yeah, 15 knots, 34 days to deliver. Have fun. Have some fun. All right, so the Alaska is coming in for its first delivery, which is going to be amazing. And then the Alabama has just left. Oh, that $3.1 million for the Alaska. And it is on its way. We should have stopped it at the port. I... I don't like that that's not automatic because I don't think about it all the time. And then it happens the one time and you're like, oh, uh-oh. The Arizona ran out of fuel. How did we not catch this? The Arkansas is about to run out of fuel too. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. The Arkansas came in on fumes. How did I not recognize the Arizona though? Was going to have a problem. All right, the Arkansas, two million dollars. All right, the, the Arizona's doing it's being pulled by a tugboat. That's so sad. So sad. But it didn't seem like it's going to cost us. I don't know. That's weird. We're probably going to get billed. We got to get billed for that, right? I mean, it only makes sense to get billed. Uh, as far as everything else goes, 1.8 million, 1.9 million. That's pretty solid to go to. Uh, Australia there 41,000 tons it's uh, it's the journey time this one only takes seven days though which I kind of like I like the short trip here for for a little bit less and we don't have to hit the Suez either so that would be good and, and there's literally no logic to what I pick it's literally just yeah what do you feel at the moment okay this one All right that's literally how I pick I don't there's zero logic to it sometimes so if you're ever wondering how I pick anything, it's all random. All right, so if we bump it, there we go. We can do 13. Yeah, it just takes a second. We do need to do some repair work on this hall, too. This one's starting to get down there as well. So that's something to, to keep in mind as we kind of move about. But I'm waiting for the Arizona to come into port because I am very, very curious at the cost. What is the cost of this tug that we just had to pay for? 
There it is. And yeah, it doesn't say anything about interesting. It didn't say anything about a cost. Daily cost is 5,500. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. She's at 99%. She's pretty solid. Good ship, good condition. Uh, but yeah, she's completely out of fuel, which is very sad. We'll just fuel her up. So sorry about that, folks. Uh, 2.9. Well, this one's that's a short journey. 739, but I think we gotta go. We don't have to go through the canal on that one. So we've got options. Either we go the long haul and uh, yeah, I mean, we'd have to stop somewhere for fuel. I guess we just... Yeah, I just don't know what to do here. It's such a long journey not to get paid. And it's not even a good payout either. But it's like, go here and you're still not really getting paid. Alright, we'll take it. And then we are going to stop at the port of... I mean, we can try and stop at... King Fahad. Let's see if we can do King Fahad. That would be awesome. King. Oh, we can. Nice. All right. Add it. Stop at the port. That should be good. It should recalculate. and We should be fine. Yep. Onwards. Onwards you go. Now that was... So we already made... Good amount of our money back already. We we're up to 11.8 million with four ships. We're we're making some pretty good time on things, so that is good. But yeah, we've kind of ran into overtime here on this one, so that is where we're going to end it. Next time uh, when we come back, I don't know what we're gonna do. We need more money. We probably need another ship, and uh, but we need to get like a an LNG ship or something. Uh, get like you know. I don't want another container ship, but man, I don't know what that thing. That thing is. Whoa. Oh man, those things are amazing. Uh, I don't think the bank would give us much there, but yeah, we got we got to do something for sure. A tanker would be really nice to have, and it's only thirty-eight million. Just to kind of get us started. Uh, obviously, I'd like to start out with the Suez Max crew. This guy's it's beautiful looking. It's a beautiful looking. Guy. Oh, the very large. Ooh, these guys. Uh, the LNG, that's just so expensive. LNG, holy kamoi, that's a payday. But yeah, I think next time, if we can get enough money to, if we can get up into like the 20 million range, which should be very easy, I would 100% be okay with purchasing at least this type of ship to get us started into the tanker business. And then from there, we can venture out because... Takers bring in a lot of money, right? They bring in a lot of money very quickly. And now that we've got this massive container ship as well, that's also bringing in a good amount of money, I, I think we'd be in a good spot. So we'll, we'll play it by ear, but maybe a tanker ship is coming next time. I guess we'll have to come back to find out. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, next time could be tanker time.